Hi, it's Pastor Bob, and today I am in the sacristy, the communion preparation area, because, yes, this week we continue in John chapter 6, the bread chapter, the feeding chapter, that we um, started last week and will be in the whole month of August. Uh, following the feeding story last week, this week, unmistakably, Jesus talks about Holy Communion as he says, I am the bread of life. Let's think about Holy Communion for a little bit here. Um, do you remember when you first received Holy Communion? Where you were when you received Holy Communion for the first time? What it was like, all of that? There have been many changes in Holy Communion for some of us over our lifetimes. I know when, when uh, I was little, First Communion, um, I wasn't really active in, in any church, a typical Pacific Northwest kid. But First Communion, when I was active, was after you were confirmed. So I was about 12 or 13, didn't have Communion, except I happened to go to mass one day with one of my Roman Catholic friends and the priest gave me my first communion when I was in second grade. Anyway, but for most Lutherans, didn't receive communion until after confirmation. And probably not as often as we receive it today. Here at Emmanuel, we have communion every Sunday. It's part of every liturgical worship service. That wasn't the way it used to be. It was... Uh, oftentimes once a month or twice a month. Uh, our first calls in Northwest Pennsylvania, Holy Communion was only offered quarterly. That developed because of our frontier construction here in the United States and lots of pastors were on circuit riding. Couldn't get around that often to celebrate Holy Communion. When Luther was around, Luther talked about receiving Holy Communion every day. Every day he talked about it for his nourishment uh, spiritually. So there you go. It's one of those things that kind of happened because of our American context. It wasn't anything that was holy or sacred or biblical. And now we're back to the way it was in the days of the early church. And whenever people got together around the word, they also celebrated the meal of Holy Communion. And that's where we are today. Thanks be to God. But there are still some arguments about Holy Communion these days. As you know, different denominations allow different people at the table, and some can and some can't. And who can preside? Some people can preside, some people can't. Men, women, all these, you know, we're still arguing about Holy Communion. Yet how many of us could say with confidence that we know what Holy Communion is all about? Oh, that's what it's supposed to be about. That's what it's about. I know I couldn't. I don't think you could either. Holy Communion is a meal, a meal to be celebrated, a meal to be received. And so this Sunday, we will receive Holy Communion and we'll receive a word about Holy Communion in worship. So come and eat, come and drink, come and dine at Jesus' invitation as he says to us, I am the bread of life. Come and engage in some faith thinking as well. 815 at Augustana, 930 here at Emmanuel.